if your heart's not right, then it's, it's really all in vain. So, hey guys, um, I just wanted to bring you along on our little weekend retreat, which is actually not a weekend, it's actually during the week. It's, um, couple of days up in the mountains uh, at my dad's house and um, and just kind of tell you like why we're doing this um, <clears throat> we had to leave Adam at home so he could take care of the animals and uh, we hate it like we have had we've had a pretty emotional time so far um, the kids especially but like then I started being like what am I doing here without my husband? And then I was like, I got to hold it together for the kids because the kids are having a rough time without daddy. But um, if you've been following us on social media, you know, like it, it, like our lives have just kind of blown up this summer. And um, I thought summer, <laughs> typically summer is more of a reprieve from the busyness of the school year. We homeschool and um, we've been in co-op and um, just had a lot of responsibilities with that and with our community and um, hosting people in our home and just kind of things like that. And so when summer came around, I was like, well, this is kind of going to be a reprieve. Like it's going to be kind of where I get to rest and where I get to just figure out what we're doing with all the food that we're producing, uh, plan for our next school year, um, you know, go on trips, go, you know, just do fun stuff. And let me tell you, like I have been completely wrong about that. <laughs> um, and that's not like to say that's a bad thing. It's just a surprise. Um, we have been doing a little market that we created um, with a friend of ours <clears throat> that's sort of in this like hub area um, in our community and gets a lot of traffic and that has been um, a blessing. We've met a lot of people and we usually sell out on Saturdays, Saturday mornings when we go and that's been just, I mean, just God's you know just pouring out his grace on us and um we have had a garden full of things that i need to do something with we've had fruit trees bearing fruit that i've got to do something with um berries to pick we've got to do something with those like it's just been a lot going on um and on top of that um we've had just a lot of things that came up with friends that we needed to, um, we needed to do. Plus I, I added an extra element into our, um, our farm life outfitters business plan, which was essential oil education. And that has been, um, that has been awesome. And I've really enjoyed that. And I'm going to continue to do that every month. Um, but that's just been more work. Um, then, then trying to keep up with friendships, um, relationships with family members, um, trying to, to be a good wife, trying to be a good mom, um, trying to practice self-care, just trying to take care of myself, being able to spend time with the Lord, um, making that a priority, uh, keeping the house clean, um, all the normal stuff on top of all the other stuff, um, has just left me weary. It really has. And, um, you know, growing our YouTube channel, um, running Farm Life Outfitters, which is, it, it, the majority of that is, is clothing, is um, apparel, and so that takes a lot of work in itself, shipping every day, and maintaining our social media accounts, and um, doing events, and restocking clothes, coming up with new designs, um, new ideas, keeping things fresh, like 
I mean, the things that um, we do every day might be different than what you do every day, but I know you understand the busyness. Like that is not that is not new just for us. Like that that's something that we all um, that we all deal with, and some seasons are much busier than others. This is a very busy season for us, apparently, and um, so <clears throat> all that to say, uh, I needed a break. I needed. I needed a break um, and I hated to have to take a break away from my family um, away from Adam I brought my family with me except for Adam but um, but we just needed a little time to unwind and to see each other um, for me to be able to pick up a book that I've been wanting to read and start reading it um, play card games, play board games, just laugh together, just enjoy each other. You might have seen my Instagram post from last weekend where Sydney and I, my oldest, went to Mount Airy for an event and it was um, really fun. We, I have not laughed that hard, like, I don't know if I've laughed that hard in years, honestly. Like, we had such a fun time together. Hey, baby and um and we had never gone away just by ourselves together and it just reminded me of how important it is just to take time to have fun and there's just not been a lot of fun i mean our life is like such a blessing and um it's a i mean it's a beautiful life but it is hard and it is really really hard work and I don't think that comes as a surprise to anybody. I mean, we have people visiting our house all the time and they're just like, man, like y'all got a lot going on. I don't know how you do all this. And we're like, God, I don't know. Like we don't know either, but, um, but I, I do believe he is showing me that it is, it is very important and even crucial to the success of our business for us to take time just to relax and have fun. Um, it's been a little easier for me to do that than it has been for my husband because he is, he, he just works. I mean, that's like, that's where he's happiest. He loves working on the farm. Um, and um, I get burnt out a little faster than he does with stuff like that. So, um, but still it's, you know, it's, it's been hard because I've been working so much. It's been hard for me just to turn it off. Even while we've been here, it's been hard for me just to be like, I'm not gonna work right now. Like I can take an hour and just watch a TV show with the kids or read a book or something like that instead of just always thinking business stuff. Hey, sweetheart. Um, <clears throat> but I just want to encourage you to do the same um, I don't know what your lives look like I don't know what your work looks like I don't know what your family looks like but <clears throat> I do know that if we are not resting in the Lord if we are not finding peace in Jesus then our lives just look like work um, there's no heart behind it there's really no point to it. it I mean in my opinion if your heart's not right then it's it's really all in vain so I just don't want my life and my work to be in vain so I need to step back sometimes and I need to evaluate what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And maybe you do too. So I hope this has encouraged you. I hope you, um, I hope you find some rest in him. I'm going to be praying, um, that whatever that looks like to you, that you find it and that you, your soul is 
rejuvenated so that you can serve others well that there will be no root of bitterness that grows um, so I don't know what we're gonna do while we're here I'm enjoying sitting on the porch right now and drinking a cup of coffee and reading a book and I hope to talk to my husband in a minute and see how he's doing and the farm and Betty and everybody <laughs> um, we went to see we went by to see our friends the hollers yesterday uh, they're not too far from us and um, enjoy walking around their property and seeing all their dreams and um, I saw it like I got so excited um, because it like I just love I love dreamers like I just love seeing people who see things that aren't there like that's faith you know I mean um, but I saw it too so I'm really excited for them if you haven't followed them before um, you've probably seen them on our channel before uh, way back like in the fall of last year so almost almost a year ago now they came out to our farm and visited after the Homesteaders of America and I'll pop that video up in the um, um, up here so uh, the, so that you can check that out if you want to but that was our first time really meeting them and we just fell in love with them and love their story love what they stand for and um, just have created lifelong friends with them and um, and community so um, yeah and I don't know what me and the kids are gonna do this this week but we're gonna relax and we're gonna have fun and we're gonna laugh together and we're gonna read books and we're gonna play cards and we're gonna snuggle it's just gonna be good so I hope you guys have had a good week and we'll see you next time